Hey there, thanks for tuning in. This is Mrs. J. <clears throat> Today we're going to look at building a hexagonal cam. This guy. Super easy, super fun. Okay, we're going to use parametric modeling. You don't have to, but it's a great way to learn it and it'll be on your certification exam. <clears throat> okay, so open Fusion, please. Open up your Automata Toy Project folder. You should see what you've made so far. Yours might look different than mine here. That's okay. Once you're in it, close her up. <clears throat> and then we're in a new design. We have one open. If you don't have one open, you hit the plus sign. It'll come up like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. We want to create a new sketch. We'll do it right on the front plane. I'm going to drag mine up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let's set up our parametric modeling. Let's go to modify, change parameters. I probably should have done this before I started my sketch, um, but it's still okay. <clears throat> so DIA, inches, 1.0, DIA is for diameter, lowercase matters, and this is uppercase matters, nominal, uppercase N, diameter, uppercase D and hit OK. We don't need too much on this one. We need depth and that should be 0.25 or a quarter inch. You can type in one slash four. Still good. D-E-P-T-H. Sorry for the background noise. <clears throat> one more plus sign. We're going to make the hole and the hole I think we said was three sixteenths. If you're in the classroom, you'll change that to meet what you actually want to laser cut, but we'll leave that for now. Okay, hole 3 sixteenths, and it changes it to decimal, hole, okay. Hit, okay. Okay, so we want to use a polygon tool. This is why you take geometry class. You can actually use it. We have six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, not quite a stop sign. Now here we go to create. <clears throat> Polygon, circumscribed, drag in here, and it already pops up as six, so if you see that, you're good. Um, if you wanted it to be, if it comes up different, just type six in there. I'm going to hit, oh, not escape. I think I needed to hit enter. <clears throat> it really doesn't matter the orientation that you do it in. I was just trying to follow the picture. Okay, so tab and enter. Okay, so we wanted to have the dimension, let's see, this space from the center to the top is half the diameter. So let's make sure we have that correct. Dimension tool, center, touch the top. It doesn't matter if you had this rotated, you could have touched that top also. It's the same thing, you're good. So get in here and put DIA divided by two, and that should be correct. Let me just double check that. Diameter divided by two, so half the diameter. And we know the diameter was one, so now it says the diameter is 50. Okay, so super easy cake. Get out of my way here. My dimension is way too far away from my object. Okay, escape on your keyboard. Let's add the hole. So click the circle tool, click the center, drag and type in H-O-L-E. You see it comes up whole user parameter inches, hit enter, enter again, <clears throat> and you're good. Does it for you. That 188 is 3 sixteenths of an inch that we told it to be. And finish your sketch. So now if you need a different size, um, of this cam, this hex cam, you could just go to your parameters, change that base diameter to one, two, three, four, and it'll update for you. Next thing is to extrude. Um, hit extrude up here. You had to have finished your sketch to extrude. Click here, and you wanna type in D-E-P-T-H and hit enter twice. And you're good to go. Don't forget to save your work. Save as. It's hexagonal, but I like to call it hexcam for short. Thanks for watching.